What's up guys, I'm Gustav Ducrest, class 1. I'm going to be doing the Noble Moon Challenge where I use my phone as little as possible for the next 3 days. So the rules are, use my phone as little as possible. I guess I'll be just tracking how, how often I try to use it, if I use it. And uh, if I notice like any increased like sense of productivity or anything. No phone challenge, vlog number one. It's been a lot harder than I was anticipating because a lot of times I like delete apps like Snapchat and Instagram when I get like too addicted to them. So basically all day I just like left my phone in the alcoves and never touched it. And I on Tuesday, so it was Tuesday, I have free, 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 class free. I'm not just going to like do homework for four free straight. That's just never going to happen. I went into the freshman alcoves and I just chatted with some freshman XE girls for like a half hour, which was actually made me really happy. I don't really use it anyways. When I do make text people, it's usually on my iPad, which I also use for school. And so that can be a bit of a challenge sometimes when I'm working and then I see someone texted me and then just want to respond really badly. But uh, today, when people did do that, I didn't respond. Well, I did respond, but when I did, I just told them that I was trying to be productive. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so it's day one. <laughs> and um, I we just finished school, and I didn't really look at my phone too much today at all, and it wasn't really that hard. So I don't feel like it's going to be that hard for the next couple days. I think the challenging part will be tonight and like the car ride home because that's probably when I use my phone the most. But yeah, it hasn't been that bad. <laughs> so um, after the first day, so Shy and I, we were both doing this and so we switched phones so that we wouldn't, we would really just not use our own phones. And what we realized is that we would really just never know what time it was. Maybe would be a couple weeks couple minutes late to class um, so that was just an observation but I did find myself reaching for it a lot um, especially for time um, also just for Instagram like doing streaks for snapchat and I did go on Spotify this morning yeah that was like the one time that I looked at it but I don't really think it changed my productivity or like socialness um, I usually play music when I get when I shower, that has to be taken out. So I was listening to this sweet song on the radio, but I can't add it to my Spotify playlist. Um, every morning I check the weather forecast on my phone. Hold on, what's the weather forecast supposed to be like today? <laughs> Man, this isn't going well. <laughs> what I have realized is that I rely on it a lot for memory, especially when it comes to meeting with teachers, because today I missed um, a meeting with my college counselor because whenever I have meetings, I put it in my phone. My procrastination methods are a lot better and a lot more wholesome and just like generate a greater amount of happiness. I don't really think it affected me. I mean, it's just always pretty nice to like distance myself from my phone because it's just like relief sort of. Yeah. 